Valentine's Day is upon us. I know. I'm what, excited. What, if I had a girlfriend or wife, what would I be buying them for Valentine's Day? I mean, if you know their sizes, and I gotta be firm on this, if you know their sizes, I think the Very Good Sexy collection is amazing. There's a great push up bras, there's great like bombshell bras, there's even small teddies they can even like wear with their outfits. That's my own style, little secret, by the way. I love to wear my outfits and like peek out underwear. Especially like if you see that teddy up there, you it's like a bodysuit and you can wear high waisted jeans and like a blazer and you can kind of hint that you're wearing underwear all day long. This is a great one. Tees, fragrance, any fragrance in the store, they have everything, every smell you could possibly imagine. What are you going to be doing for Valentine's Day? I don't know yet. I haven't ta I hadn't I haven't had that conversation with my boyfriend yet. And it's going to be during fashion week, so but hopefully I'll get to have a nice dinner with him and just like have quality time together. It's kind of hard for me to make like definite plans just because my schedule is really crazy. I actually have no idea where I'm going to be on the day of Valentine's Day. Um, but usually I just like to keep it kind of chill and like go see a movie or like, you know, go get pizza or something and um, just relax and hang out. For me, it's all about embracing, you know, the girlfriends in your life. I actually think it's Valentine's is more than just a couple's thing. It's about, you know, so I make sure I send all my girlfriends a little gift, make sure they feel special. Um, and I send my mom flowers because, you know what, it's about girls feeling special. It's about love. It's not just about, you know, because there's so many singles out there, too. It's for everybody. It's probably actually the best time to ever meet somebody. You should be oh, out on Valentine's Day. You should be out on Valentine's with all these girls just having a fun time. I feel like we are seeing the return of the supermodel right now people like you, Gigi, I mean, it, it, all over the place. It feels like the age of the new supermodel. Talk to me about seeing that because it's unlike anything that I can remember of the last 10, 15, 20 years. I think social media had a big impact on that. And I think the word supermodel has kind of evolved. I don't think we can compare these girls to what they used to be in the 90s. I think it's a kind of new wave of, of girls that it's coming in. And it, it, I think the girl, like, it's very, they're very powerful and they have a thing to say. They're just not pretty faces, you know. They have, they, wa they want to build empires. You know, they're very powerful women. They're just going beyond modeling. And I think that's pretty incredible. And I think it's a big inspiration for young girls and that you can just really build so much around you, that you don't have to just focus on one thing. I think it's really, really cool to be part of this age because there's some sort of like, we get to like kind of have our own say in it with the whole social media, with that kind of power, you get your own word on it. You get to let the world know how you want to be perceived. And I think that's so empowering and it's like, it's cool that people are so interested in modeling again. And I think we're missing that. We're, there was like a gap from the 90s to like now. And it's really cool to be part of this generation. And I'm really proud of it. Getting to work with icons like Adriana and Alessandra, what has it meant? What do you take away from an experience of being around women who have been so successful in this industry for so long? I mean, everything, everything that they are, it's an honor always being around them. They're so beautiful and kind, and I think maybe that's the one thing I always take away from it is that they are, to this day, even though they're legends and they're iconic women and everybody knows their name, that they are still so humble. They're mothers. They love their life. They love their kids. Every time you walk into the room, they're always like, oh my god, hi, like so good to see you. How have you been? And you're like, oh my god. They are the coolest. I'm good. Uh, you know, and it's like, that's something definitely to pay attention to is like, a young girl is like, wow, they're so confident, but they're so nice. And they're so humble about where they are always. So we're all so grateful to be here.